tonight with plumbers and contractors in such high demand. Some people are trying to fix the problems themselves, but you could be in for some costly plumbing mistakes. You bet. KPRC 2's investigator Mario Diaz shows us how to avoid those mistakes and how to make sure insurance claims are handled properly. The sounds of recovery, all too familiar to Houstonians. After Memorial Day 2015, Tax Day 2016, Harvey, Imelda, and now a winter freeze. We can't catch a break. What's the last thing on a homeowner's mind in Houston? Having to worry about their pipe. Well, I wasn't ready for this, neither, just as much as everybody else. Licensed plumber Mike Marsh is not alone. This line outside Ferguson Plumbing Supplies Friday morning, a testament to the challenges. Nearly every person in line, a homeowner who needs help. People are desperate. The inventory shows it. Some key parts were available. Many of the most desired, gone. Crazy busy, running out of material left and right. Store manager George Roman sees the struggle as a chance for his team to deliver. We have a real opportunity to help our community. But Roman is bothered by the number of homeowners attempting to do repair work themselves. If they don't put the right glue uh, with the right fittings, it could, it could burst again. Are there any shortcuts? to plumbing repairs. No, not the right way. Victor Martinez of Vector Plumbing and Drains doesn't mince words. His words are Harvey. Martinez says there are problems licensed plumbers see that a homeowner cannot. I go from one uh, busted pipe to 14 holes in the pipe on the same house. And that's the issue. We can see that into we still see in running, running water. But the homeowner thinks I had one leak. Yep. A do-it-yourself repair, all for naught. Money spent, problem persists. Homeowners tackling repairs is not the only concern. Another, handyman and contractors who are not licensed taking homeowners for a ride. Listen to what Martinez found at one home, repaired after hard. What happened is they didn't put the insulation, they didn't put the right pipe, and unfortunately, this customer is going to have to tear the entire master bathroom, bathroom to do the repairs the right way. There is no coverage for poor workmanship. James Howard is an independent and public insurance adjuster. His advice, avoid contractors charging top dollar without a license. You might not even get what you pay for because you could pay top dollar to a contractor that doesn't know what he's doing. If you're filing an insurance claim, do it now. Also, know your policy. Keep in mind, some insurers require you file a claim to burst pipes within 48 hours. I am concerned for people of Texas because they're really going to see what kind of policy they bought, and they're really going to see what their carrier is made of. Don't throw anything out. That is your proof of the damage. If you have to pull carpet, keep a piece of it. Storm attorney Renee Sigmund says you need to document everything to get dollars flowing back into your home. You might call that number on your policy and nobody answers you. Document it. Keeping a paper trail is crucial. And if you're trying to identify how good your plumber is, the chairman for the Texas State Board of Plumbing Examiners tells me, look them up on the state's site. Not only can they be verified, but consumers can also examine their disciplinary history. Mario Diaz, KPRC2 Investigates.